hello friends welcome to youtube channel crack gate online so in this video i am going to discuss about terracing this is also one important topic related to soil, soil and water conservation engineering so terracing so basically in hindi it is known as sidhi numa kheti so everybody of us know that what is sidhi it is something step like structure everybody of you have seen it uh at many places so when you do this type of construction in hilly area for agriculture purpose then it is known as the terracing so here in the background picture also you can see how this terracing is done so in this video i am going to discuss about this topic in detail so this is about me so let's discuss why we do terracing and what is the importance of this so as the bonding it is also one engineering measures to control the soil erosion in hilly area so here you see this is the step like structure see here so that's why it is known as terracing so what you do basically by making this step like structure you reduce the length of slope so if you are not making this then the length of slope is this much okay once you make the terracing so you are see the length of slope is dissected through this step like structure so what happens the velocity of flow over this slope reduces and by doing that you reduce the amount of erosion you increase the amount of water infiltration okay so as i told in bond bonding is suitable in area where land slope is 8% but for terracing this is 10% okay so if you are making terracing then the land slope should be 10% or equal because then only it will be economical to make terracing in those area otherwise economically it will not be beneficial so this is how you do the terracing so in terracing also you will be having some limitation so what will be limitation you can think of suppose this area is very stony or very sandy then soil condition will be one limitation and what what if slope is too steep like this then only then also you can not make terracing so these are some limitations and why you are doing terracing what is your objective so your objective is to cultivate this area for agriculture purpose because here in this steps you can do the agriculture you can take some crop so this is your one objective what is your second objective your second objective will be can be to reduce the erosion your third objective may be to increase the water infiltration in those area so this may be your objectives so let discuss about this thing so here as i discussed you what is terracing what is this sidhi numa kheti so it is basically to reduce the soil erosion is it is a step like structure and same as bonding it will be also done across the slope no soil major structure can be made along the slope if you will make them along the slope then there will be no meaning of making them because that will supplement to the length of slope it will not cut the length of slope okay so when you are making across the slope ultimately it will reduce the length of slope and land slope must be greater than 10% okay so it is very heavy structure you so basically you need lot of earthwork so wh what is the objective you can read it here i already told you what is the objective so limitations also i reduced based on soil type and based on the slope of the land this may be this is the basically two type of limitation so terracing is also of two types like the bund where bund was graded bund and the simple bund so here also terracing is also of two types so one is the broad based terrace and one is the bench terrace when you want to store the water or dispose of the quantity of water then it is broad based terrace and once you want to only reduce the length of the slope then it is bench terrace bench terraces also various type like level bench terrace bench terraces sloping outward bench terraces sloping inward 
and as I told you broad brush terrace is to store the water or to let off the excess water so here also it is two type like level and graded once you want to dispose of the amount of excess water then it is graded and once you want to store the water then you want to conserve the water then it is level okay so here I have given here you can see broad brush terrace is good up to 8% slope and here it is for higher slope like 20 to 30 so here it is also level type and graded type once you want to discharge the water then it is graded and once you want to store or absorb it is level so here also it is so as i told you this is the bench terrace support so if it is level then it is level type i am talking about this okay once it is inward means it will be like this this level okay this slope it will be like this and once this is outward my it will the slope will move outward side like this okay so water will flow in this direction for outward and inward water will flow in this direction so here you will give one channel so that you can safely discharge the water and in all the this type of terrace you will get one shoulder bund here it is and the size of shoulder bund will depend for this type the shoulder bund will be higher direction because greater quantity of water is coming here so you want to store this water so the size of bund should also be higher and one is putorican type okay so this is clear i think so let's discuss once bench terrace and after that we will discuss the other type of terrace okay so bench terrace we will take in detail after that we will take the other type of terracing that is broad brush terracing okay so here first let's to discuss what is the bench and how it will look okay so here suppose you have this slope length okay and you want to make the terrace so from here how the terrace will look like so suppose below all is the soil okay so what you will do you will do one cut okay you will take out this quantity of soil from here and you will put same quantity of soil over this land slope okay so this is cut and this is fill again you will do one cut and again one fill again one cut again one fill okay so through throughout the length of slope you will do like this so this will below the slope it is cut and over the slope it is fill so after doing this you will see this step like structure in the slopey area so this is known as the terracing okay so suppose it is the length slope okay so it is over it will come like this so below the land slope it will be cut and here it will be fill so here you see suppose this is the cut okay so this is the length of cut okay and this is the fill so between this length this level terrace and this level terrace what is the vertical drop this is known as the drop suppose this is drop is d this is d is known as the vertical interval okay so this is the depth of cut because this is below the slope and this much amount of soil you are cutting this is known as the d by 2 d by 2 is nothing but the depth of cut so this is how you make the bench terrace so bench terracing will be on the contours line this is you have to remember this okay and this here you can see so this is the land slope and below the land slope this is cut okay and here you will fill again you will cut again you will fill so this once this will be the bench one and this will be the other bench here this vertical drop is known as the vertical interval Oh, and the slope of this is known as the riser slope that may be one raised to one or half raised to one this is also known as the better slope okay so sometimes to stabilize this slope you you do some kind of plantation here okay on this riser so that this will not be damaged this corner should be stable otherwise through the uh, through the time it will become like parabolic shape it will go under erosion and here deposition will take place okay so that's why to stabilize you do plantation here 
सो आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर वॉट इज द बेटर स्लोप वॉट इज द राइजर वॉट इज द वर्टिकल इंटरवल एंड वॉट इज कट वॉट इज फील हाउ यू विल मेक द बेंच टेरेस सो बेंच टेरेस इज ऑल्सो थ्री काइंड एज आई टोल्ड यू अरियर लेवल बेंच टेरेस आउटवर्ड एंड इनवर्ड सो थ्री टाइप ऑफ रैंड फॉल इज देयर वन इज हाई वन इज मीडियम एंड वन इज लो सो फॉर आउटवर्ड फॉर इनवर्ड हाउ इज द स्लोप स्लोप इज लाइक दिस ओके सो यू आर रिमूविंग द एक्सेस वाटर सो एक्सेस वाटर वेन इट विल कम वेन रैनफॉल विल बी हाई सो इट इज फॉर हैवी रैनफॉल इन द आउटवर्ड वॉट यू आर डूइंग रैनफॉल विल बी लो रैनफॉल एंड द फॉर लेवल इट विल बी मीडियम सो लाइक दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर ऑल्सो सॉइल विल बी लाइक हैवी परमिबल सॉइल परमिबल सॉइल एंड लिस्ट परमिबल सॉइल सो इफ इट इज हैवी रैनफॉल एंड यू नीड टू डिस्चार्ज द एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर देन वॉट विल बी द सॉइल टाइप इट विल बी लिस्ट परमिबल सो रैन इज हाई and the soil is also least permeable then discharge will be very high for level bench terrace you have to store some quantity of water so your soil will be permeable highly permeable and your rainfall will be medium but for bench terraces sloping outward your rainfall is very low at the same time your soil is permeable so that minimum quantity of soil moisture will be available okay so medium high you can remember through mnemonic एम एच एल से महाराष्ट्र लेवल ओके सो फॉर लेवल ब्लैंड टेरेस मीडियम रैनफॉल एंड हाई परमिबिलिटी ओके सो वंस यू नो दिस एंड रिमेंबर सम अदर सो फ्रॉम दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैम कैन कम एंड यू आर यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फॉर आउटवर्ड यू आर रिमूविंग द एक्सेस वाटर सो लैंड स्लोप विल बी हाइयर ओके दिस दिस इज स्लोप ऑफ दिस बेंच नॉट लैंड स्लोप ओके स्लोप ऑफ बेंच it is 2 to 10 here it is 2 to 8.5 and this all outward is suitable for orchard o for outward and o for arch orchard this is how you can remember this level is for paddy and inward is for potatoes because no water logging is required in case of potato otherwise crop crop will destroy so here you can see bench stresses already i told you 2 to 20 to 30% here here i will this i will discuss in upcoming videos what is one rest to one and what is half rest to one and how your vertical interval will change okay if it is completely vertical like this that uh, for vertical cut there is no better slope it this i told you this slope is known as the better slope so suppose there is no better slope then vertical interval is w h divided by 100 how this is calculated i i will tell you and this value of vertical interval will change for 1 rest to 1 and half rest to 1 also if w and s is not given then directly you can see from this figure for vertical cut what will be your vertical interval that will become two times depth of cut because this is depth of cut and double of this is vertical drop okay so i will discuss that in upcoming videos so thank you for watching this video so in the next video i will discuss the design of bench terrace okay so in the design you will get clarity about vertical interval width of bench terrace uh, what is meaning of one rest to one better slope what is meaning of half rest to one better slope and what are the various parameters you need to consider for designing of the bench terrace so here we are basically discussing bench terrace and uh, after completely discussing the bench terrace we will go for the broad bench terrace because both are different and both having different formulas like we discussed about the contour bund and the graded bund both had different formula different approach similarly it is also different in approach so we will we will come with video 1.2 very soon thank you